So my cheese has melted. <laughs> if I show you guys, my cheese has melted and I feel like it looks so much better. It looks like 10 times better. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Dinelle Mutlabane and you are tuned into Becoming Dinelle M. Now, if you're new to this channel, take a tiny bit of pause and head over straight to the subscription button. Make sure that you smash it so that you can be part of this lovely family. Now, to my returning family, thank you so much, you guys, for returning and for always supporting me. On today's video, it is a cook with me video. I'm cooking something very different, very special, and I wanted to share with you guys. So today I'm cooking a sweet potato toast with chicken breast and mushroom sauce, or rather spinach and mushroom sauce. And yeah, it's very delicious. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Now, as I'm speaking right now, my spinach is done. So I quickly want to show you guys my spinach and my sweet potato toast. I just made videos on how I made, I dressed my toast and how I made it basically, as well as how I also made my cream spinach. So this is my creamed spinach, you guys. It smells so good. It's got some mushroom in and yeah, it's literally so delicious. So I'm quickly going to show you guys how I prepared it for myself so that you guys can also prepare it for yourselves at home. So to prepare your creamed spinach, you first going to need um, your freshly chopped and clean spinach roughly chopped is also fine and then you're going to add a full cup of water depending on the quantity of your spinach and then cover it up and let it steam up for about 10 to 15 minutes you can leave it on medium high heat that's perfect so whilst we're waiting for our spinach to steam up and achieve that bright um, vibrant green color in our pan we are going to add a full spoon of butter and a full teaspoon of garlic grated garlic fresh grated garlic and then we are going to let our garlic melt and then saute our garlic just a little bit just be careful not to burn your garlic because it's going to give you a very odd smell it's a very unpleasant smell and it's going to basically ruin your food so yeah add your mushrooms in saute them as well with um, garlic and yeah saute 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 don't forget to add some salt and pepper to your mushrooms so that we can enhance the natural flavors of the mushrooms and yeah so we can enjoy them to their full potential now our spinach is now done steaming and we have achieved that vibrant green color that we've wished for so yeah it is done and now it's time for us to add it into our mushrooms just don't forget to drain all the water out or squeeze it out whatever the case may be Ooh, you guys and now that um emojis cough please just excuse it because i just realized after i shot this video that my chest was uh, literally in the camera so you guys will just have to excuse me for a, a few seconds whilst i have that emoji um this cough emoji on <laughs> It is the unnecessary drama for me, child. Like, I'm so sorry, you guys. Such things do happen. And, yeah, we move. We move, okay? <laughs> oh, my word. Now, back to being serious. After adding your spinach, you can also add, like, a full spoon of butter. And keep on stirring. This step is optional. If you don't want to have, like, a lot of butter and all of that, you can just simply um, skip this step. 
now once your spinach and your mushrooms are all fine you are going to add your full fresh cream it's pouring cream and yeah i'm just eyeballing right here uh, i don't have like a specific measurements and then you're going to stir if you need more cream you can just simply pour it now in a separate cup take a full heaped tablespoon of mushroom packet soup and add it into a cup and add a bit of milk and make a paste add it into your um spinach and let it simmer for a few minutes maybe like two or three minutes then add your grated cheese it doesn't have to be a lot add your grated cheese keep on stirring and then let it simmer for like a minute or so and yeah your spinach will be done after a minute or two now check the creaminess check the creaminess child this spinach this creamed spinach is so good i would highly advise you to try it at home <laughs> it is so good so to prepare your sweet potato toast or rather um oven baked potato sweet potato you are going to add some black pepper and your seasoning salt or spice whatever spice you have i've got six gun spices here you can use chicken spice or steak and chops whatever spice you have um just add a little bit then you're going to drizzle your sweet potatoes with um, olive oil you can use butter or whatever oil you have uh, drizzle a little bit then rub it all over your sweet potato just make sure that everything is coated with your oil and your spices now i then went ahead and uh, seasoned or rather sprinkled a bit of garlic powder if you have you can use if you don't have um that's also fine the step is also optional but it does take your sweet potato toast to another level once everything is coated with the seasoning and the olive oil place it into the oven for i think i don't know until it become soft i usually don't check the amount of time i put my sweet potato into the oven but until it becomes soft you'll see and this is my sweet potato toast it is literally done and ready to be eaten so right now i'm about to pan fry my chicken breast and i quickly want to show you guys how i'm doing it and i already showed you how i spiced or marinated my chicken breast so let's quickly do this so to marinate your chicken breast, you are going to need whatever spices you have. Right here, I've got um, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of uh, cumin powder, a full teaspoon of paprika powder, and some curry powder, which is like one teaspoon, as well as, what's the garlic powder. And yeah, you're going to sprinkle a bit of salt and some black pepper. And now you're going to add all your spices into your chicken breast and mix, mix. Just make sure that everything is coated with the spices. Now add one or two cloves of grated fresh garlic. You can use one or two depending on how much you like your garlic. I love my garlic. So two was enough for me here. Now, usually I use plastic. You can use a glove if you have, but I usually use these disposable plastics to mix my chicken. So you are going to mix everything until all your chicken is coated with the seasonings and the spices. Now I'm going to go again and add a few drops of sweet chili sauce. Um, mix everything together and then go ahead with a Worcestershire sauce and mix everything together again and after that my chicken is done there you go you guys that is how you marinate your chicken breast so i'm just going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil or whatever oil you have and then i'm going to pan fry my chicken So 
So you guys, my chicken is ready and now I'm dishing out for myself because I've already dished out for everyone since people are hungry and I'm busy taking forever here. I'm quickly going to show you how my men's plate looks like. Not really like best presented but yeah, he's hungry. I'll try to dish out more nita on my plate. I'm going to add my chicken breast. How beautiful is this, you guys? And then I'm going to add my cream spinach. The moment of truth. So you guys, this is my sweet potato toast with my pan fried chicken breast and cream spinach and some cheese. It looks so delicious. So I quickly just want to pop it into the oven uh, so that the cheese can melt and yeah, it can look a bit more presentable. But this looks so delicious. I can't wait to just dig in. So you guys, whilst I'm waiting for my... Um, cheese to melt in the oven i just quickly want to explain this dish quick 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 so i'm in a process of losing weight so i want to find uh, more fun ways to substitute bread or rather carbs like your um your bab or your rice with like vegetables so i will be doing more of those creative dishes so you guys need to stay tuned for those so yeah this is a very good meal and of course if you are trying to go vegetarian or if you're vegetarian i would highly recommend that you skip the chicken part and just use it with um and or just eat the toast the sweet potato toast with the cream spinach and garnish the cheese on top of course that is also optional but yeah this dish is very suitable for everyone whether you're vegetarian or you are a meat eater like me and my family we eat meat so yeah um i think this dish is very good for when you're trying to cut carbs and stay healthy but then still enjoy the warm meals that everybody else is eating so my cheese has melted <laughs> if i show you guys my cheese has melted and i feel like it looks so much better it looks like 10 times better it's melted cheese it looks so yummy i can't wait to taste she's talented or whatever anyways let me taste I feel like I should just maybe sit on the chair. So the moment of truth, the moment that we've all been waiting for. Let me also get the the chicken. Can you guys see? Please don't look at my belly. I did say I'm in the process of losing weight. Kidding guys, you can look at my belly if you want to. So <laughs> wow. This is so yummy. Guys like creativity at its best. I know it seems like I'm blowing my own horn, but this is really, really good. Mmm. Mmm. I love it. I love it. Can y'all see the chicken? So this is a chicken. This is a sweet potato. This is a cream spinach and the topping, obviously, the cheese topping. Guys, I am not I'm not playing with you guys. This this is really good. Mmm. Mmm. And today I really had um today I had a very long day. It was very hectic. Even my makeup, I'm not really like hundred percent impressed with it because I was planning on looking good, you know, good energy vibes, cooking, but then my makeup took long and our mirror in the kitchen broke as well. So I couldn't even see myself clearly while I was doing my makeup. So 
it was a bit of a disaster but i'm glad i managed to just pull it through being the boss that i am i managed to pull through you guys and i made this yummy dish my family loves it and by the way this orange sweet potato the orange sweet potato it's literally rare to find you can find it mostly i think at food lovers market or even at woolies i know pick and pay sometimes they have it and then on some other days they don't so we have a food lovers market and i feel they have all the vegetables my daughter literally just ate the spinach and the chicken she's trying to be fussy with the sweet potato even if you're trying to avoid meat this is still very good. You, I could literally eat it without meat. So thank you so much, you guys, for tuning in. And of course, also keeping me company whilst I cook my family some delicious creative dinner. <laughs> She's petting her own shoulder. But anyways that's beside the point thank you so much for joining me you guys up until this end and yeah i really do appreciate your support if you're new to my channel you know what to do i did mention in the beginning take a tiny bit to pause go smash the subscribe button make sure that you are part of this family we cook delicious food we hold beautiful conversations basically do vlogs and keep y'all entertained so make sure that you become part of this family don't forget to like my video don't forget to subscribe don't forget to also comment down below let me know what you think about today's dish and yeah you guys thank you so 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 much i really do appreciate your help and your support of course please don't forget to follow me on social media instagram basically it is becoming underscore denaro m i would really appreciate it if you follow me on instagram like my pictures comments let's engage on all of my social media platforms and today you guys there's no wine i'm literally gonna drink some water if not auras but yeah here is my meal for the last time